Hello gamers and welcome back to another Absolver video. Today I will show you how to make a proper deck in Absolver. I will say there are three levels of deck making, beginner, advanced and pro. And in this video guys I will turn you from a beginner deck maker to advanced. Every style follows the same deck principles. The first principle is picking out your starters. This could be as your alternatives, it could be whatever. As long as in every single stance one of the first moves is 12 frames. Either alternative or the basic attack. This demonstration I might just do on the normal sequence. So I selected four random 12 frame moves. I tried to mix them up so they're not all the same direction and stuff. You don't want all your starters to be the same direction. That'll be way too predictable. So we have horizontal attack, straight attack, thrust attack, horizontal attack. Now the second part of deck making is the alternatives. So we look at hook here. It's a left horizontal attack, right? So we need something completely opposite to it. And what would that be? A right mid thrust now the only attacks you should really be using an absolver is horizontal attacks and mid thrust attacks that's because high and low thrust attacks suck because windfall can dodge in three directions and vertical attacks suck as well because stagger can just back dodge same with agent so using mid thrust and horizontal attacks make sure that your deck is suitable against every single style so we need to look for something completely opposite of the hook. So I'm going to use run up strike as the alternative to hook. It's a very strong move that I don't really use. So I wanted to put it in this deck, you know, because I like to mix it up sometimes. Alternative to drum crane would be a left horizontal. Sidekick is a very popular alternative to drum crane, but I want to use some new moves in this deck. So I'm going to use 360 tornado kick. It's not a good move, really. It does a 21 startup for only four advantage on guard. I mean, it's not really that great. But it's fancy, okay? So I want to put it in. Alternative to low back fist would be a right horizontal. I'm going to use flute for this one just because crane goes after flute. Same with low back fist. So both of these straight attacks will go into a powerful horizontal that should get people off guard. But to do this, we're going to have to have thrust attacks after drum crane and low back fist because the alternative for both of these will be spinning flute. Now for stretcher hook, I need a left sided thrust. Now I'm going to be using jackhammer in this demonstration. It is a vertical, like I said, avoid vertical moves, but jackhammer is actually really good just because it's a double hit, it has super long range and it has good tracking. So after your deck looks something like this, you can start filling in the moves. This is where the third deck making fundamental comes in and let me show what that is. So if you go into moves details, you can see that every move has some kind of data. So for example, hook is 12 frames, it has six advantage on hit and two advantage on guard, which basically shows how much frames the move uses and how much advantage you get. So if you get two advantage from a hook, you can basically use a 14 or 13 frame move to be safe to completely avoid the opponent's interrupt. Now you can make your decks jab safe, which will make it safe from 10 free moves for example, but you will have to use like a lot of 12 free moves. So for example, how we have hook here with 12 startup and 2 advantage on guard, which means we only be able to use a 12 frame move off. But since we are not making it jab safe, we're only making it safe from 12 frames, we can use moves like jar bash and carry on the combo. The alternative after Jarbash is 360 Tornado Kick, so we need something that is a right-sided thrust. And since we have 4 advantage on guard, we can probably use a 16 frame move, 15 frame to be safe, and that's only because the data can be wrong sometimes. So I found a few good moves that I can use in the slot, but I'm going to use Crushing Palm because it's a right-sided thrust like I was looking for. It's 16 frames and has amazing advantage. And since Crushing Palm goes into Jackhammer Punch, it should be 10 frames safe from any jobs. So I guess that works. Now, when I make one string that I find fully complete, I normally go into the one that goes right after this. So since Crush and Palm finishes bottom right, let's go into Stretch Out Hook. Now, after Stretch Out Hook, we have 360 Tornado Kick again. But now we need another right-sided Thrust. Stretch Out Hook gives two advantage on guard, so we need to look for a 14 or 13 frame move. We're using Fencing Punch. Fencing Punch gives five frames advantage on guard, and Face Back Fist has 17 startups, so this will be perfect. Also, it's a perfect alternative to Spinning Flute Swing. After Face Back Fist, we are gonna go into the bottom left stance, and we're presented with Spinning Flute Swing again. So we need to use something that is a left straight. Now a great combo after low back fist is wallow blow and liver knee. These are all three straight attacks that come from the same direction, but the alternative to either one of them is flute swing. 
it's a perfect combo to get opponent off guard even if your opponent knows your deck be careful when using these frost attacks though because people love dodging sideways so if that ever happens like if you're facing a noob who just consistently spam side the void or side stagger just switch into alternatives the head damage from these moves will probably stop them from dodging sideways ever again now you might be thinking wait livony doesn't end in drunk rain none of the stances end in top left now personally i love using drunk rain to engage in combat because it's a very fast thrust with long range so it's just perfect to engage opponents from a distance and since you might be using this combo a lot you don't want to use drunk rain way too much because the opponent will start getting the hang of your deck also you don't need every single sequence to go into each other now drunk rain's alternative is flute swing which is a right horizontal now there's not too many moves we can use after drunk rain so i'm just gonna put reach mawashi into nothing because the alternative is run up strike which means we need a left horizontal attack and i just couldn't find anything good so this is the completed deck so far let me try it out in combat trials and see how it works all right so i'm guess i'm facing t he's one of my subscribers so it's nice seeing him out here let's see what this deck can do so we have a very long distance move which i want to start the combo with okay guess we attacked way too late ah our timing is getting to him Try to tap block. Okay, okay. Ahaha! <laughs> Let's start this fight with Jack Hammer Punch. Nice. Oh, that's a lot of damage. One thing about this deck is that it has attacks like Hawk, which he can just step cancel to go right into itself. It gets a lot of noobs of God. He is not a noob, so it's not working against him. See, he's doing the same thing against me. God damn it, too much talking. Need to fight him. <laughs> that move, I think, confirms the 12th frame after you hit, so... Oh no. There we go. 2-2. Two, two. I think we can take this. Oh, that was sick. Alternatives! Oh my god, they're getting to him. Jack Howard? Oh yeah. And what? That didn't confirm. I love this game. There we go. GGT. Nice fight. So yeah, after testing this deck out, it's actually quite good. What I really like about this deck is the long range attack. So we have an alternatives. So Jackhammer Punch is super long range. Run up strike is long range. Run up strike, if you attack him from the long range and you hit, you can confirm 12 frames. Which means any of these moves you can just attack with right after of course it's gonna be low back fist but that's 80 damage on top of the 176 that you will hit if you guys want to try out this deck and let me know what you think then please go ahead if you enjoyed this video and you found this guide helpful make sure to leave a like and please subscribe man i need more subscribers ah!